Hello and welcome. If you haven't watched my Flash CS5.5 Motion Twin Part 1, please go ahead and watch it first. I'm going to go ahead and open a file that I created in the first video. Okay, here we have in frame number one, this circle, and in frame number 48, the circle. And if we go ahead and watch the flash, this is what it does. Okay, so it basically is traveling from the left to the right of the screen. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what we can do. First, we're going to go ahead and select frame one. When selecting frame one, go ahead and point to the layer itself under number one about midway and click it and when you see one chosen and also to verify down here frame one is shown and if you want to make it easier you can always click here and type in the number for example if I want to go to frame 48 type it in click enter and there you go or you can just click it and then click one and click enter we're gonna go ahead and frame one click into the object itself and you want to go ahead and select the selection tool up on the right of your screen and we're gonna go and slowly move it to the path until you see the opposite end of your cursor uh, have a little arc on it that means you can go ahead and left click on your mouse and drag it to sh create a new effect what you're actually now doing here is changing the path of the motion tween okay so let's go ahead and so I click off the stage to deselect and let's watch what did we do? So we changed the path of the motion tween. So that's how you would do it. If you wanted to change the path, you would go ahead and click on the frame number one and then make sure you have the selection tool selected and go to the path and drag it whichever way you would like so if you wanted it to travel up at the top you can do it this way or if you wanted uh, to have a, a different angle you can do it this way or you can even do it this way let me show you I'm gonna click off the stage and then I'm gonna show you the new path control enter or command enter on the Mac So there you go. Thank you for watching. This is the end of this tutorial on how to change the path of the motion tween. This is part two of a series. If you enjoyed this and you did learn something from it, please go ahead and show your love. Give a positive rating and leave a positive comment. If you have a questions, please go ahead and send me a message. Thank you. See you in the next video.